This will be video number five of the Aggregate Demand and Aggregate Supply series, which is part of the IB Economics Macroeconomics Syllabus Unit 2.2. In video number five, which is this video of the series, I will talk about shifts in the aggregate demand curve that are caused by changes in net exports. So let's get on with it and see what we're going to learn today. The learning outcome for this video is to explain how the aggregate demand curve can be shifted by changes in net exports due to factors that include the income of trading partners, exchange rates, and changes in the level of protectionism. Let's see what that means. The income of your main trading partners will obviously affect how much they buy from you. So say, for example, when trading partners experience economic growth, your main trading partners, their economies are growing, um, this means that the foreign demand for our goods and services will increase and therefore our exports to these countries will increase and aggregate demand will increase. And the opposite is true. If your trading partners are experiencing recessions or contractions in economic activity, um, the foreigners that live overseas will cut down their demand. The foreign demand for our goods and services will fall. Therefore, exports will decrease and aggregate demand will decrease. The curve will shift to the left. So we are affected by the income of our main trading partners. You can look at it from another perspective as well. Domestic national income affects net exports because it affects our demand for imports. When our domestic national income increases, domestic consumers increase their demand for all sorts of goods, and so the demand for imports also increases. Um, say I'm an American citizen and I live in the United States and the overall income uh, within uh, the American economy is rising, American consumers will um, demand more foreign goods and services, and so imports, the level of imports will increase. When imports increase, remember when M increases, aggregate demand will decrease because M is considered an outflow uh, uh, in terms of money from flowing out of the economy. And the opposite is true. If we are experiencing a recession and domestic national income falls, consumers decrease their demand for all sorts of goods and services, and so the demand for imports also decreases. And this fall in imports leads to a slight increase in um, aggregate demand. Exchange rates also have a very strong effect on um, net exports. So when the value of our currency rises, we say that our currency has appreciated in value, our currency appreciates. Imports become cheaper, therefore we tend to import more. Exports become more expensive um, for foreigners buying our expensive uh, exports. So our exports will decrease, therefore aggregate demand will decrease. That's the net effect, because remember, an increase in imports is recorded as a negative. And the opposite is true. Um, if the value of our currency falls, it depreciates. Imports become more expensive, so imports decrease, and exports become cheaper. Suddenly, foreigners will find um, our goods and services cheaper, so we will export more, and therefore aggregate demand will increase and the dem aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. The last factor is changes in the level of protectionism. If our trading partners atop, adopt more free trade policies, um, they cut down on their tariffs and they stop sort of um, protecting their domestic industries, uh, the demand for our exports will increase and so aggregate demand will increase. But say for example our trading partners are a bit upset with us so they slap some tariffs on our goods and services, and they adopt more protectionist trade policies, the demand for exports that we're selling to them will decrease, and therefore aggregate demand will decrease. So the demand for um, exports and imports is affected by things like the income of our trading partners, um, our own domestic national income, uh, level of exchange rates, and the levels of protectionism or free trade amongst our trade partners. And this is what affects net exports and hence causes shifts in the aggregate demand curve. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.